Hello. So in this video, we are going to discuss about modules. Now we have installed Drupal or any content management system. When you install, it provides you certain basic functionality. Now, when we want to add functionality to our website, what do we do? If you would had been developing and coding your website with PHP or Perl or some other kind of server side programming language, you would manually add, modify the code on that. But that's not the idea why we are using a content management system. But still, the functionality that is available with your current installation of uh, Drupal or WordPress or any other CMS that you are using may be limited or the point is that they are already designed for certain purposes. So now if we modify the code or do something, then there is an update coming up, then our code will be lost. We are going to continuously do that. And this is not going to be easy. And after all, why we are using a CMS to avoid all the headache of coding. So what people thought who were developing the content management systems to give you a easy mechanism to add functionality to your content management system, or you can say to your site, fine. Now here you can consider the modules or some content management systems call them as plugins or extensions or something, whatever it is called to add this functionality, just like we added a theme and we copied the theme into a directory and we had a new theme without actually disturbing the actual core code or core of the system. Modules are something like that to understand it much more easily. Uh, we can take an example of our laptop or computers. Now, if you wanted to add a functionality to your laptop or computer, what you are going to do, let us say you wanted to add a extra better camera to your laptop or your laptop does not have a camera. So what you are going to do about it? You are not going to open your laptop, change the hardware or do some addition wiring and other things that is not what is ex expected or it's not the straightforward way. So the companies or people who are developing lap laptops, they came up with an idea of USB ports. So, and the other devices that were created were supported on the USB. So basically you would buy this camera connected to the USB port and you have a working new functionality, fine. And when you don't want this functionality, you simply detach it from that. So similarly modules or plugins are functionalities, which can be plugged in into your content management system without actually opening the CMS or getting into the trouble of changing the code and all. So that way it makes our life easier and gets a lot of work done. Now, just like we had installed the theme, the process is similar. First, you need to go to the Drupal site over here. Fine. Go to the build modules section. Here in the same manner, you will get the interface just like for the themes one and you can select or search a module for a particular purpose. Fine. So as you will keep on working, you will think of what functionality is missing or something. So for demonstration, what I have done is I have selected this module called as admin toolbar. Now we already have an admin toolbar over here. Fine. When this admin toolbar is on the side, it is much easier to use because it gets expanded like this. But when it is on the top, it does not work. If I click on configuration, then it opens the configuration page. Then I go to go to another page and so on. So let's get back to this. So here, what they're saying is that when you add admin toolbar, it makes it much better or it gives you another toolbar, whatever it does. Let's see. And you will get a menu like this. Fine. So just like what we did for the theme installation in modules uh, of your site, go to extend uh, under extend. We have the module. So basically we want to extend the functionality here. You can add new modules in the same manner, which I had discussed. So like 
you could click on add new modules you could provide the url fine you will we will go to this and this 3.4.2 works with 9 drupal 9 and 10 fine specified versions and here i could copy this particular link and uh, we can place the link or we can upload a file if we have downloaded but we have already seen that on my local setup this does not work if this would have been a real life setup this will simply work by copy pasting the url like if this is the one i will copy the link and i can simply paste it here and say continue but we know that this is not going to work so let's not waste time so how do we add the module so let's first download the module as usual we will download this module fine and you can either download tar or zip as per your operating system where you are playing around with drupal then go to this time we will go to our drupal wherever it is installed and we will go to drupal modules so you can see this modules these uh, this is the directory under drupal root where user defined modules will go just like we put the themes over here so inside core there are these modules these are the modules which come with drupal they are part of the core so we are not supposed to place it here or mix up our modules over here so let's see hopefully the module got downloaded in downloads and that was admin toolbar so let's copy it and we will place it inside modules again there is a readme i will suggest that you go through it when you are playing around let's extract it here now this admin toolbar comes up over here let's get back to our drupal and let's go to extend here keep in mind that drupal already has a lot of inbuilt modules installed beforehand installed means it comes with the core right and they have di divided it into certain parts now the module which we have installed or right now just copied into our modules directory over here and uncompressed it it should show up somewhere dependent upon what they have mentioned obviously it will not go into core let's see it has come under administration it has made a new section for administration and here what we need to do is we need to select what we want admin toolbar provides an improved drop down interface fine then admin toolbar extra tools add menus like flush caches and so on now we'll just keep this it has some other functionality also first of all with the module we will have to read completely what exactly functionality it is providing i'll just select these two and we will say install and just like themes it will get registered now the module is installed and registered so here now you can say this is ready for use now in themes you have to set that theme as the usable theme here you don't need to do that particular thing fine so installing means this module is now enabled if you want to disable the module you will have to go to uninstall part fine if you go to uninstall there you will have to select which module you want to uninstall anyways now we have this admin toolbar and you can immediately notice that drupal icon has come up and here i have few other functionalities fine whatever it is it's some functionality now content over here and configuration now there is a drop down for this so this makes my work easier like i go to development performance and if you remember we had put it into maintenance mode now i'm directly over here otherwise i had to go through that particular thing again and again and the sidebar is in the same manner like here fine right? and here it has come up like this so this i have added a functionality without writing even a single line of code and now have this functionality so similarly as we will be working and as our requirement comes up we will be able to search for modules and use those modules for our requirement fine 
here you have around 50,000 modules that match your search let's try to filter it works with Drupal 10 and let's see how many modules are there for Drupal 10 so we have around 6,762 modules because all the modules are there for 7, 8, 9 and so many other things but for 10 we have a lot of modules people who are contributing to these modules are continuously trying to upgrade modules from 7 to 8 and all 7 to 8, 9, 10 whatever is the latest one fine so this way you will be able to add functionality to your system without writing any kind of code keep in mind that all modules uh, enabling and uh, installation may not be straightforward but so you are expected to go to the modules home page and read their documentation and other things which they have provided fine or at least hear whatever they are saying usually sometimes there is some documentation and all other if it's a more complex module it might be provided fine okay so that is all about modules we will discuss further things in the next video